Hey everyone, so you've got a new packet broker and you need to get it set up in your network. I'm Hans Hohenner, I'm a systems engineer at Keysight, and today that's what we're going to talk through. So the first step is getting into network connectivity, and for that we're going to need serial access to the box. So while you're getting those cables run, make sure you grab the USB stick out of the packet equipment it came with, because that's got the license key on that we're going to need for step two. The third step will be upgrading the software, we'll show you how to do that, and then after that the box should be ready for your environment. So there's two ports to worry about when getting your box initially on the network, as shown on the screen. They're the craft and management port and on an ETNS, which is the box I'm using for this demonstration, they're at the far right of the box. The first port, the craft port, is a serial port. It's 115-200 baud or bits per second, 8 data bits, one stop bit and no parity. The second port to management, that's standard uh, RJ45 Ethernet which could be CAT5e, CAT6, what have you, whatever you're using within your environment, um, should be just fine. If you want, go ahead and stop the video here, pause it while you get, go get those hooked up, and then we'll pick up when you get back. So we're back and you can see the boot messages on the console window here. So the first step, like we said earlier, is to put an IP address on this host so we can get it onto our network and finish the configuration. So we'll do that with menu item 3 here. Um, that IP address that's on there, this 192.168 address, that's default from the factory, doesn't work on my home network. Can't imagine it works in your environment either, so we're going to change that. Also I need to change the gateway. And finally commit the changes. Once I commit the changes, the box is going to reboot and uh, we'll be back and uh, finish up the config. So now, let's get into the box, drop the license in and upgrade the software and then it'll be ready for use within your network. So the first thing you want to do is go in through a web browser. We prefer Chrome, that one seems to work the best for me. Hit the IP address we just configured. First thing I need to do is accept the license. I encourage you to read it. And on here, there's a couple things to look for. First of all, there's a startup guide, a couple PDFs, some web console help for our API. The main button you're worried about here for just quickly getting into it is this launch web console here. Click that. And then take a minute and uh, bookmark this page. So I'm gonna do that offline. Uh, the initial password is admin and admin. Log in, and you can see nothing's licensed on this box right now. So I need to go get that license, which was off of that uh, USB stick that I told you guys to get earlier. It's on there. Um, that's the next thing that needs to go on the box. So let's go ahead and get that license installed. Go System, License. I, uh, notice everything here is expired. This is a demo box, so I have to put new licenses on it temporarily, periodically. I only get temp licenses. So in license key, I've got it out on my desktop, so I'm just going to grab it from there. There's my uh, new temp license. Open. Hit OK. While it's installing that, I'm going to go out to the support site and grab the new code. So go here, software downloads. Go down to the bottom, packet brokers. And 5.5 uh, .5 is the latest version. Make sure to read any of the notes here in case they pertain to your environment. Um, and this is an E10S, so the one I want to grab is this one here. And so notice there's two different, um, two different files here. One of them, this one here, the second one is a hash, it's a checksum to make sure the image is valid. The top one is the actual code. So I'm just going to right click, save link as, and save that out to my desktop as well. Take a minute to download and then we'll up, update the, the box. Be right back. So while we were downloading the new code, uh, the, the E10S installed the license and then logged us out. So let's log back in. And always, 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 before you upgrade the code on a box, Take a backup of, of the equipment. So you go export config, 
full backup, give it a description. And export. You can use this for restoring the box if anything goes wrong um, and get back to where you were. Uh, now that I've got a good backup, let me go system, version, install software. I've got it out on my desktop, so I just grab the zip file. Don't worry about trying to unzip it. The Packer Burger will deal with that. Hit open. It's going to tell you it's going to upgrade it. And here it's going to install it. Well, it's going to upload it to the E10S. And then it'll apply the code. So we'll be back when it's done. So it's about 15 minutes later, the box is rebooted, and I'm about to log back in and just make sure that we're on the new version. So you can see up here at the top, that shows the version number, as well as if I go into system and look at version, it shows me here that I'm running 5.5.0, that's the latest version. Um, so we are now on the new version of the software. Thanks for your time today, and if you like what you've seen, please hit us at the email address over on the screen here, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care.